Hello, this is the Ramblings of an Invisible Mind podcast for Thursday, September 15th, 2016. As of this recording, Sierra is still missing. I just realized I don't have my seatbelt on. So, sorry about the clicky clicks. Uh, what am I thinking about today? Well, you know, one of the things that the wife and I have started up because it was something I had an idea about. We were a member of a, of a choir for many, many years, and we aren't anymore. And now that I'm done with school, one of the thoughts that I had was to join a, a, a community chorus and get back into doing a little bit of choral singing. And so we've done that. There's this uh, group here called the Rochester Community Chorus. And uh, we've been to two rehearsals so far. And we are uh, learning a bunch of show tunes. Some of, the, some of the tunes are tunes that I know and some of them are not. Um, for instance, we've got um, a medley from Hairspray. Uh, and I don't... I've never even seen Hairspray. Uh, we did borrow it from the daughter, so we got to watch it, but haven't watched it yet. We're doing um, a song from Jekyll and Hyde. Uh, it's not a bad song. I like that. Uh, for Hairspray, there, there are some songs I like and there are some songs I don't like, and I've already determined my favorite. I won't say I don't like them, but then some of them are just like, okay, you know. Uh, we're doing some Phantom, and I love Phantom, so that's cool. And we're doing some uh, Fiddler. I think we have a Fiddler on the Roof thing we're, we're doing. Uh, and we're doing God Bless America. And I think I'm missing something. There's, and we're going to have a Les Mis um, medley that we're doing. So that, that should be fun. It's, it's been fun so far. One of the things that's kind of nice, you know, being in a choir in, in the 21st century is that you know, the first day of rehearsal, the director is, is like, okay, so if you go on the website, it'll tell you what I want you to be looking at for the next rehearsal. And there's a link there to get to a Dropbox where you've got tracks that you can listen to and, and rehearse with a little bit from home so you can at least be familiar with the songs before we you know, get together on Monday nights. And what's cool is they've got, um, they've got tracks that are predominant tracks for the various parts. So I'm, I'm singing tenor, so I, I grabbed all the tenor predominant tracks. and So you still hear the other parts, but they're a lot quieter than the tenor part. The tenor part is, you know, at a you know, normal volume. And so it really helps to, uh, you know, hear the, hear the notes and all of that. And uh, so that's, that's kind of nice. Uh, there's times I would love, when we first started talking about it, it was just like, oh, I'd love to, uh, I, I kind of hope that they'd be nice if they had like, you know, part predominant tracks. And sure enough, they did. So it's like, yeah, yes, that sounds like fun. It was kind of funny, though, because I don't know what the median age of this choir is. I mean, we're not the oldest. We're not the youngest. It's probably somewhere in the 50s, I would say. But so many people had trouble with, you know, downloading the files from Dropbox. So much so that they ended up making CDs for people. I actually went one further, and um, the Hairspray medley and the... Um, uh, what was the other medley? Oh, West, uh, West Side Story. That's what I forgot to mention. West Side Story. Uh, he kind of split up the, what we're doing. You know, like some like next week we're working on the back half of the West Side Story, and we're working on the back half of of the Hairspray stuff. And so I, I actually split up those tracks into you know part one, part two. Because I got them on my phone, and then I can just listen to them, and I can just listen to the part that we're going to work on that week. So, granted, I don't think anybody else there is is 
of the, from my wife is is uh, technologically uh, astute enough to be able to pull that off, but uh, <laughs> I could. Uh, so yeah, most people were just like, "Oh, CD is good. I can just shove a CD in." So I was like, "All right, whatever." It kind of kind of scares me because it's like, do we have a whole other crop of people that are coming up that that um, are, are are tech tars as much as you know a lot of the the really senior senior citizens alive now that are you know 70 and 80 and above you know are, is, is do we have 50 year olds coming up that are just as much of a tech tard i i thought not but maybe i'm wrong maybe there will always be tech tards i kind of thought maybe tech tards were going to go away but maybe not maybe tech tards are here to stay i don't <laughs> i don't know i don't know the other thing that's nice is, is I'm burning some vacation time. I had some extra vacation time, and I thought I wanted to take it in September. So I am, uh, I worked uh, this morning at home, and I've got the rest of the rest of the day off today, and I've got all day tomorrow off. Uh, although I will be going into work because they're doing an employee sale. Every year they do a, an employee tent sale where you can come and buy stuff at ridiculously low prices. So I'm going to run over there to uh, to see that. So I will be, you know, on the grounds of work, but I will not be working. I'm meeting a friend for lunch too in the area, so that I'm looking forward to that. Um, but today I'm thinking it's a nice day. It's I don't know what the temperature is. It might still be in the 60s. I think it's in the 70s, low 70s. So I'm going to. I've got the time. I'm going to get on my bicycle and do a nice extended bicycle ride. I think. So once I get home, that is the plan. That is the plan for the, for for them. So uh, I don't know when tomorrow I will do a podcast, but I'll, I will get actually I'll do it on my drive. Duh, I got to drive drive to work, so I'll do it like any other stinking day. <laughs> so I will be back tomorrow, and I'll be talking to you then. So be seeing you. <laughs>